Are you doing so good? All right, y'all. For us, it is a good morning. We are off to Barbers United, and that's my good friend Jonas. He has he does haircutting in a barber shop in Knoxville, and so we are off. I'm going to get a haircut, but also Riker is going to get a little trim. So let's see, see if I can show you your first haircut. This up here is staying the same, but around the back, he do a, just wants to look at it. But around the back, I will show you, around the back is just a little bit long, so we're just gonna trim up around the ears and kind of fade into the top and the back. He has a little line, so we're gonna try to just trim all that up. We were gonna wait for like a while yeah, longer before cutting it, yeah. but then with him like sleeping, he really doesn't ever lay on his back except when he's sleeping, but on his mattress, he'll like rub it. So he has a really weird line of almost no hair and then like this chunk of it look, and it just looks weird. So you just want to fade up the bottom and, to that? Yes, yeah, so we're just fading up the bottom. So we're like, we'll just trim out, we'll try yes. it, see if he'll let us just trim out a little bit today. And then hopefully by the time it grows in, it's not gonna have a line anymore. Now, Jonas is incredible at cutting hair. It's different when you're cutting a seven month old baby. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Riker should be doing great. Uh, probably one of us will just hold him and mm -hmm. let Jonas cut his hair. Hopefully he likes the, the sound and does, doesn't shock That's him. That's the only thing I've, I think yes. we're nervous about is the sound. If it's loud, he doesn't like loud sounds, so we'll see. A You're haircut. a big boy. Get Ooh. the camera, get it, get the camera. Mau Mau, you need a haircut? It's been a minute since we've showed Mau Mau, so we have to make sure he's doing okay. Show you two style. are matching. Mm. You two matching white, huh? Mm. All right, y'all. I just want to take a moment and tell you about today's sponsor, Eufy. We just got the Eufy X10 Pro Omni. It is so nice because it can clean multiple surfaces like hardwood floors, as well as carpet up to 12 millimeters tall. Not only does it vacuum, it also mops. So this is a do it and all. And when it comes to vacuums like this, this is like the electric car or like the Tesla of vacuums. This thing is incredible. And you also can get it for a great price. With the 8,000 PA powerful intense suction, it will vacuum up pet hair and other dirt that is hidden in your carpet for a deeper clean. Perfect if you have pets like us. Maui likes to run around and he sheds a lot unfortunately. And when he goes to the bathroom, the cat litter gets on the floor. So this is perfect for that. We just have to sit back. You know what, the vacuum does it all. And with Riker now being able to crawl, we always want to make sure our floors are as clean as possible. And this is, I think, the easiest way for us to do that, to make sure Riker is always crawling on a clean surface. The AIC can recognize rooms really well to avoid hundreds of different kinds of common obstacles like shoes and toys, well as cables. The LED lights ensure that it also works in the dark. And if you're like us, me and Lydia wanna make sure that our privacy is just kept us and that it's just not getting uploaded everywhere. And Eufy also cares about your privacy. The RGB camera will not upload any user information and they have attained privacy and security certification from this place in Germany. I cannot pronounce it, but there it is. The Omni Station automatically dries the pads after each use to make sure that it prevents mold from growing and also keep it from smelling. The three liter water tank can mop the floor two or three times per week for a home with an area of 15 to 2,000 square foot. It also collects the dust from the dustbin after each use. With this two and a half liter dust bag, it is large enough where you only have to replace it every 60 days. The Pro Detang Combs flips down when the roller brush turns in reverse, effortlessly losing the entangled hair with 97% efficiency. It is great to keep it from clogging up the brushes. No need to detangle the hair by hand. It also has a child lock prevention to keep children and pets from turning on the vacuum. And that is a great feature for us because at night, Maui likes to roam the whole house. He would jump on there and start it. So it is nice you can just turn that on and no one can stop it or start it. I think it's incredible. It's made our life easier and it's made cleaning the floor so much easier. We just hit go and leave and it's done. And there's still so much more cool features that I didn't even get to but this vacuum is incredible. 
use our link in the description. It will take you right to Eufy X10 Pro Omni with 8,000 PA powerful suction. This vacuum is incredible. Go check it out. Sorry. I'm gonna make sure all the doors are closed. Yes. He is a sleepy little guy. So you don't know what you're doing, huh? You don't know. Hi. You're getting your hair cut, buddy. Okay, let's go check on daddy. All right, y'all. This is Jonas Thatcher. He has been cutting my hair for how many years, Jonas? Eight eight, nine years, we met years ago at a basketball tournament. And before he even had the shop, we went to the same college and then he started this, what'd you start this, three years ago? Two, three years ago? Three years ago. And you know what, now this is going to be Riker's barber. So Riker's first time getting a haircut is going to be today. And I wouldn't want to take up anywhere else. And this is Barbers United right here in Knoxville, and this place is incredible. Next, we're gonna show you him a given Riker haircut and see how that goes. <laughs> He's pulling my hair off. He's getting his first haircut, and let's we'll see how this goes. Lydia is going to be holding him. You ready, Riker? You ready? Yeah. And we're just trying to clean up the back of his head. Right there where your head lies. Right lines. there where his yeah. line where he lays down is. Are you ready? Want to touch the clipper? Hey, wow. It's like a little massage. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, is that a weird feeling? <laughs> is he going tiki tiki tiki? I already look so much better. Oh, is he going tiki 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 tiki? Yeah. What do you think of that one? Wow. Hi. Yay. So you're squirmy wormy. Big boy, huh? Are you gonna be a big boy? Yeah. Is that a weird feeling? All right, Jonas, what's the youngest you have cut hair on a kid? Um, how old's Riker? Riker is almost seven months. That's probably pretty close. I've pretty close few, to it? I've cut a few between the six to 12 month range, but that's normally about the youngest it gets. Yeah, we, were, we were shocked that Riker's hair grew so fast. I love it, man. Get him trained early. Right? Are you trying to see what's going on? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. David, are you looking so much better? Oh. Are you doing so good? Oh. So you're getting a little scrummy now. So you're almost right. done? This is just the last little part. Mm. So you're getting the whole treatment, Riker. Do you think he has blonde hair? Like a yeah, weird. but if is you it see, red? like when some of it gets cut, it's a little darker when it falls in there, so it might be a little Does it look red? darker brown. It might end up closer to traces. I think uh, he'll eventually. Do you think it's red because of his scalp, or is it red because? Does it, really does it not like? No, look I think at it's. Him? I think it's kind of blonde. I think a lot of blonde looks like that when it's when it's first here, when it's first it's like a... when they're first born. Well, Riker, I try to get my hair cut every two weeks. Hopefully, that's not for you for a long time. Come on, Dad. Gotta look good. Stay fresh. Yeah, buddy. 
That's why I come here. Got you. <laughs> spiky <laughs> man, you. Oh, spiky, spiky. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I'm done, man. I'm just not a fan of the bee. It's okay. It's okay. He did so good. Jonas did so good. Look at that, dude. Brand new man. <laughs> good luck getting. There we go. Hi. Stay there. Are you ready? <laughs> now he's letting you think. No, he's just letting you think. That actually looks so much better. Riker. He looks so much older. Uh, I cannot thank you enough, <laughs> big Anytime, dog. Oh my God. Anytime. Uh, like I said earlier, if you are looking for a good barber, check out Barbers United in Knoxville. Let me tell you, they'll hook you up right every single time, make you look good, take very good care of you. That was incredible. He actually did really, really good. He cried for just a little bit, but ended up doing really well. And go in and there, I was like, oh man, he don't have that much hair. It's not gonna, you know, not gonna do much. But there was actually a good amount of hair that Jonas cut off, so that was really nice. And I think he looks so much more sharp. He looks, looks very like sharp, clean boy. cut. Oh yes, very much so. And now he looks like a whole dollar. Riker does. <laughs> he looks like so much older. I feel like I never wanted to be the mom that is like, oh, I don't want to touch his hair, and then just have like fluffs hanging out. Yeah. I'm um, not that attached to his hair. If it was a girl, maybe I would be more attached, but. Riker is gonna get lots of cool haircuts through his life, so I was like, if if Start it'll him make off, right? him look good now, just because in every photo now he had a weird line and it just looked weird, so I was like, I guess let's do it. But huh? I don't think I regret it. I I'm ready not. to go home, give him the bath, clean off all his hair, and then just restyle. I'm curious to see if it'll stick up. That's what I feel like the only emotional thing I've attached to his hair is sticking up. Like, oh. <laughs> everyone says his hair looks just like your dad's. Oh, yeah. And it's so cute. And what, if it like ever gets to a day where it doesn't, I think I'd be sad. So I yeah. do like when his hair is just like, woo. So we decided since it's actual National Burrito Day that we're going to go get some burritos. I got the food. We decided we're just going to eat in the car. And then Lydia wants to play a little game, I guess. <laughs> Tell us what we got. I, just for fun, I'm going to ask Trace 10 questions. Do I get to ask any? I mean, I guess you can ask them oh. back if you feel like it. Okay. I'm ready, I guess, when you are then. I'll give you a couple passes, so if you don't want to answer something, you're going to be like, pass. Okay. Wait, i got to add a couple more to my list. Just oh, you got to add more? Okay, you ready for your questions. 10 questions? I guess I'm ready. Question number one. Where is one place you've always dreamed of going? Hmm. I don't know. I guess growing up or like teenage years, I always wanted to go out west. I thought that would be a lot of fun. Do like, like Montana a, and stuff? Yeah, Montana, Arizona, Colorado, like out west in the summer. And just go see, go tour western towns, go to different national parks. So I thought that would be really cool. But Have then, you done that? I've not. I've never done that. But once I got married and we want to do things with you, I feel like going tropical somewhere would be really cool. Like, we went to Hawaii, but like going, I don't know, to the Bahamas or something like that would be amazing. I love those places, so yes. I feel like I feel like I would enjoy doing both, so let's just do both. I like that idea. <laughs> One day down the road. What is something you're really bad at? Trace is so good. Like everything no, no, he's no, no, picked no, no, up no. that we've started doing together or as couples <laughs> since we got married, he's always better at it. Or I guess no. he can just pick up things really fast. I don't know. I mean when it comes to sports not a lot. That like I've played do. a lot of sports and I understand a lot of the rules and stuff, so uh, it wouldn't be that. Yeah, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at, at drawing and painting or anything like that. Lydia's family is incredible at anything artistic and stuff like that. I, yeah. We love artsy stuff. I cannot do that we at did all. did a lot growing up. Terrible, terrible. We should do that one day. Just do a you have to draw me and I'll just draw you kind of challenge. 
Oh, that would be bad. That would go really bad. Really bad. Uh, we'll just say that then. <laughs> Speaking of sport, what's your favorite sport to watch? I'm a big Tennessee fan, and so I don't care what it is, if it's football, basketball, baseball, I like Tennessee sports. My favorite sport to watch is, is definitely football. Like, hands down, best environment, best to go to. What's the second? Probably second would be basketball, and third would be baseball. And then a My... little bit lower would be pickleball. I know that's just a newer sport, but I do love into that. pickleball, and I am getting into it more. Um, I feel like I like football the best out of all of them, too. Basketball, the squeaking of the shoes irritates me, but in person it's really fun. Baseball, I just don't understand. It just I like baseball. goes right over. Maybe one day if like Riker plays baseball, I'll be interested in it, but that's I feel it. like once we go to a baseball game, I really like it because it's a more family atmosphere, slower pace, you know, you get your <laughs> food. It's fun. Okay, we'll figure With it out. With kids, I think it would be fun. We'll go to Tennessee By baseball By myself, game. I don't think I would ever. What is your favorite childhood memory? There's so many. It's hard to find which one. I had a wonderful childhood and grew up. It was amazing. So many siblings. If you're upset at one, there's someone else to go talk to. And <laughs> that is a plus. It is a very much plus. And we did a lot of fun things growing up. We were very blessed. Maybe just pick up one childhood know, one I, you can come up with. There's like, I could go on a, a rabbit hole of like 10 or 15 just right now. And okay, I just, just give me one good one. I have a lot of stories of all the crazy things y'all do because there's a lot of boys. Wild. It makes me nervous about having boys. Boys my family did too. We've broken so many arms, and yeah. maybe we should ask that. You, the, the amount no, of no, injuries. No, no, no. Stresses. <laughs> I just feel like we have I've had tons of, of memories, and you can't think of one. I can't what about think of sledding? One. Like, did I you like have any fun like going sledding? Was, sledding? sledding was fun, but did you all do like... any of that? We did, we definitely did that, but it didn't snow a lot in Tennessee. But I feel like just as a family, we were very close together. Uh, we played a lot of board games and played outside a lot. And so I feel like great memories would just be like that. Like knowing home, dad would come home from work. He would, we would go outside and play wiffle ball or kick ball or football. And, or if it was inside playing Monopoly, which I love that game, Lydia don't. I love card games, board games, any kind of games cool I love. Unless it doesn't have strategy. If it's all luck, I don't like it. I want strategy. So. Um, I feel like I feel like it's so true because when I came into the family, like one of the things that I think was so fun about your family is every time I would come over, there's always something going on. Yeah, there's something going on. There's always so on. many people, so there's always like games or just someone was in the middle of doing something entertaining. It was just never boring when you right. went to right the big house if you could have an unconventional animal as a pet what would it be so something that's not mm. a regular pet well my family growing up we always had a snake i don't know if that's considered unconventional or conventional unconventional a snake as a pet a lot, a lot of people have snakes a lot of people that have snakes uh probably like a tiger or a lion like i think it'd be cool maybe you got a, a mini tiger thing. line Riker. maui <laughs> oh maui <laughs> <laughs> I got a mini tiger boy. I want a big one. A real one. That would be cool. Oh, uh, that would scare me. I really thought you were going to say monkey. No, I, I feel like when like I started monkeys. dating, you used to say you wanted like a pet monkey. And I was like, why? Yeah, I don't know. I'd, You're like, I'd it seems say. funny. It does seem fun. This one is a funny question because I feel like you would like neither one of these. <laughs> would you rather spend the day at a botanical garden or an art museum? Next question. I plead the fifth because that would be no one by the Yes, yes, I don't want to like something I enjoy. I would enjoy doing both. <laughs> but I have friends that like doing that, so I go do that with them. Where's, where's the most beautiful place you have ever seen in person? Probably Hawaii. That was so uh, that was there's some beautiful. places there in Kauai that were just stunning. You can stare at them all day and think, yeah. wow, is this real? There were some cool spots in Honolulu, too. Or, um, With the closest. That I'll, yeah, but I would definitely say Hawaii has been my favorite. That's beautiful. I would agree. I feel like if we went to like the Grand Canyon, that's also like a place that seems unreal from yeah. what I've heard. I've not been, so I don't know. Um, have you ever have you ever fallen asleep in class when you went to college? No, but I was close multiple times. But I never actually did. I had some long Good days because we had... I commuted, so class was at 7.30, and then class was from 7.30 to about 1, 1.30, and I would get out and go home, and then I was the team manager for the basketball team, so I'd come back for practice from 8 to 11, and then go back home. About So that was long, long times, and after about three months of that, it really got to me, and I was driving home one night, and it was really late, it's like 11.30, almost 12, and it was raining really hard. 
in the car hydroplane and bounced off the concrete wall. Thankfully, no one was injured and it wasn't that bad, but that was probably due to the rain. It was storming really bad, but also due to just being tired because I was doing Did you sleep more after that? Yeah. When you graduated? Yeah, I did. Good job. I feel like there's a lot of stories about college that I've not asked you that I need to ask you. And yes. Or our next day we should ask. If you know anything about the Bates, they love to sleep. So I do love my sleep. You know what's nice about that? Since you're a night owl and stuff, there's a good chance our kids are going to inherit it. And they're going to be true. great sleepers. So far, Riker's been great yes. sleepers because their family do, they love we to sleep. We almost close so. to the end? Yes. One? If you could go back in time before Riker was one, what is one piece of advice you would give yourself? Ooh, that is tough. Like parenting. Uh, like for those first early few weeks of newborn life. Mm, probably that we didn't have to sterilize the pumps in the bottle after every time we used them for the first week. <laughs> that did was, we ever talk about that? We got no sleep because we didn't know. The first night we did that. Yes. So every they two always hours. we had to feed them every two hours. And then they always count it from the start of the feeding. And he would probably take 30 minutes to 30 to 40 minutes to eat. So then after that, then I'll have to go clean the bottles and sterilize them. Then go to sleep and probably get 20 to 40 minutes of sleep and then do the whole thing over again. Awful. Because we thought we had to sterilize it. We're like, it has to be clean. It's a baby. It's going to get sick. <laughs> but we knew we just had to wash them out or, you know, rinse them out. So that was nice. We learned a lot. We, we called a lot, a lot of people. We called Alyssa up the next day. We're like, we need a she device because she did that with her last one. So yes. we're like, mm, she has the same pumps. <laughs> what what's, the, <laughs> what's the worst pickup line that you know? The worst pickup line? Yeah. Probably the one that everyone always hears. Like, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. It's even worse when you live in the state yeah. of Tennessee. You want to answer that? What Go is the most it. awkward date you've ever been on? No, I uh, I can't really. I don't know. Even with little siblings? I mean, they always ask like questions that little are like. Little siblings ask like yeah. the, I, the most entertaining questions. They do. That they do. And that can easily be awkward. It was funny is because like right when we started talking, we went out on a date with my mom, and mom said, I want to, like, ask Lydia questions to get to know her, and then she brought Jeb and Judd, so I was like, okay, they're going to be, like, chill, <laughs> and, you know, mom is just, you know, asking, you know, how, you know, what do you like about Trace and things to Lydia, and mm-hmm. then Jeb is just looking over, and it's like, are you going to break Trace's heart like his ex did, and <laughs> Lydia's like, what do you say to, like, no, I like, think I literally... I think I literally went, like, just stared at Trace and was like, what, like, do I, what do I say? Like, I can say, no, yeah. like, obviously not. But then I'll say, is he going to believe me? It's a little kid. He's going to be like, prove yes. it. And then they're like, and then they go to the next question, like, what's your favorite color? You know, then they would throw, like, random things in there. And then they would that just randomly awkward. just say things. And that was, that was a little I awkward. I felt I, awkward for you. <laughs> I feel like you always have to go for, like, awkward little conversations like that. Um, in the beginning when you get to know a person in their family, but I, I feel like it was more of like, I was just sweating cause I didn't know what question those little boys were going to ask yeah, next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, compared to their questions, your moms were easy. Yeah, yeah, well, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about, you know, that was it. That was but, funny. You know, we love Jeb and Jen. I feel like a lot of these questions are really good and that's a lot of them are for another time in another video, but yeah, cause it'd be Tell fun to talk want. some questions about college about my, you know, the the girl I dated for for a while. Because that was weird because it was like, we still had the show and, you know, it goes out there public and then when your life is out there and it doesn't work out, you know, the courtship doesn't work out or they dating. Is it delayed? It is a little bit delayed. What, of like when what? It, when they aired, it was probably like three or four months delayed. So they're just, you couldn't talk about it? Well, no, that, it's just like, it, it's, it's difficult because your life is already out there but you know that's how we are like with youtube or our show and it's just sad because people like you know wonder Bread. and yeah and it's just like opinions. you know everyone has their own uh, opinions especially for anybody that is influencers there's always people that just have their own opinions and think they know what's right or what's best and just don't care to just say it but it is difficult you know when i was so invested and it didn't work out now i'm absolutely so glad it didn't work out because I would have never met you and my life would not be like this but not be as fun but that having being, said yes that having said it it was difficult just that whole process of 
ending or having the relationship ended and then talking about it and you know it you know it's just it it's is hard. I feel it's like difficult. it's weird after you break up you don't want to talk about it so no. I, I yeah that's a different you conversation don't for beca- another day we should we should do this more often in our videos it would be answer fun. a couple questions but you really don't want to talk like about it. it it's just like if any if if your life ain't on tv and they yeah. as big of a deal break it yes it's still hard don't get me yeah. wrong but when there's hundreds of thousands of people that are investing in your yes, relationship that want to like, right. so it's a weird thing because then I feel like you probably feel like you need you owe them or you need to explain it because they've been along for all that. Yeah, um, that's a lot. And then also don't want to talk about it. I wouldn't want to talk about it. I probably would talk about it to my like if I went through something like that, I would just want to talk maybe my parents yeah. and my close friends, but not like publicly. I probably yeah. No, it was that it, it happened, but you know what. That could I be feel your awkward like day. everything up to that point, all the decisions led me to you, and so I could not be more happy and blessed. And You're so sweet. sweet. <laughs> our sweet boy Riker. Uh, I love my life. I love my wife, and it is fun talking, like just answering questions like this. So maybe we need to pop up more Do questions. This more often. We I think should... it's my turn next time. <laughs> I can come up with we... 10 questions. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. <laughs> we used to do this all the time when we were dating. We would yes. just ask, we'd play like 20 questions and ask each other questions. And, and um, yeah, it brings me back to those days. And one of the things we did was we just didn't want everyone just, or just using each other's questions. So we just said, whatever questions asked, you just can't repeat it right then. Like you can't just say, you can't ask, ask the other yes. person back. So you have to come up with your own question and something else. But it's hard because some questions are so good that you want to know, but then you're like, oh, Sometimes we're like, okay, we'll make an exception. But that was a long rant. It was very entertaining, though. And my food is getting cold, so I am ready to finish my burrito on National Burrito Day. And thank you for coming along. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's always a lot of fun. I'm not so little boy. I'm not so little boy. Just got a haircut. That is hard to believe. Now we got a long weekend, so get home and got other things to do. So we will see y'all next week. Bye.